is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right. That's sounds good to me. So contributions on the earlier stream were slow. So not only did I lose $100 overnight for this chargeback, then during the course of today, I lost $38 to chargebacks, and the earlier stream was slow. So in reality, today, I've lost money during the first, the first stream. <laughs> I actually lost money streaming. Tips, where are they? 38th in the world to Silvan Silvano Face. What the hell is 38th in the world? Is this a new meme? Who's 38th in the world? 38th what? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to remind you. If you can support the stream tonight, please do by tipping. I really need the help. We're only at $6 a tip so far. Earlier today, we didn't get the tips call. And over, just within the last day, I got $138 in chargebacks. So I started today negative 138, and I'm not even close to making up for that. So I would really appreciate it if you contribute tonight, guys. Why don't you tip? And I, by the way, I apologize for having to mention it a lot tonight, guys. It's just that getting $138 in chargebacks in one day, and then having a slow earlier stream, it, you know, it's, it makes me nervous. So That's not begging. That's business. 50 bit big boy says, well, people are some people, a lot of people in chat. No, it's not a lot of people in chat. It's like a small number of people who are basically trolls are questioning the authenticity of chargebacks. Um, no, here's the thing. You guys already see some of the tips that come in and we all question together if they're real or not. That, that tip the other day, what was it? John Briscoe that came in with a hundred dollar tip out of nowhere. No one ever heard the guy wasn't in chat. I questioned if it was real or not. It looked like it had come from a PayPal account rather than a credit card, but it was not a fully verified PayPal account. And people were like, ah, you shouldn't count it. And I was like, you know what? I don't know. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I'll be nice. So we did. I put on the vest and everything. That got charged back tonight. Or last night. Overnight. So that's where the $100 comes from. The 38 bucks is various stuff. Like there was an $8 tip um, randomly one day. And it got charged back. People say it's not valid. So this guy who did the fake tips, it's not always easy to identify the fake tips. Because he'll do very small ones sometimes too. And it'll hit with an $8 thing. Sometimes there's fees involved. In which case, if there's a, like, if there's a tip... And it gets charged back. Sometimes PayPal will say, if you, okay, we detected a charge back. Charge back, charge back, charge back, charge back. Refund it now and everything's good. But then sometimes they'll be like, oh, there's a charge back. Here's a, here's a fee. I was like, what? Why? And I, I to my, to my uh, chagrin, I can't figure out why sometimes PayPal charges me fees for chargebacks and other times they don't. It doesn't seem to be actually any kind of consistency to it at all. I don't know if there's a, if there's a frequency. I don't, you know, I don't know if it's the size. I have no idea. So some days I'll get a charge back, but then I'll get a, a giant fee associated with it. All right? Help! Now, the thing is, I can't show you guys any of this. If I show you this, I'm giving away information from a PayPal account. That's, yeah, I can't do that, obviously. Um, but I'm just telling you, you know, this happens all the time behind the scenes. All the time. And I don't always talk about it, but it's a constant ongoing thing since I've been accepting tips on streams, which has been for a couple of years, where every once in a while you'll get a fake tip, a fake tip. This year in particular has been very bad because of this guy who's using the fake credit cards. He's buying these fake credit cards off the internet and then freaking giving me tip, fake tips. Fifth of it, big boy, I don't know anything about this stupid line app. I don't know how it works. People are, are telling me things about it. I know nothing about it. All I know is I have nothing to do with it at all. I, I don't have an account on fucking Line. I never did anything with it. I don't know anything about it. So whoever did it, did it in my name. If it exists, I can't confirm it exists or doesn't exist. Sounds like someone made an account in my name to try to fucking screw me over, just like Discords and everything else that's happened this year. I know nothing about it. But it sounds like you're a conspiracy theorist, doesn't it? Video bit big boy, you have to enter a code from an SMS message when you download the app. The troll has access to your text message and I contact the authorities if I were you. I've been exposed on stream. I got pro like completely exposed. <laughs> I'm just I, seriously like there's no way to dupe one of these app companies into thinking that you are using a phone number that you're not right or there's no possible way that in the six years since my cell phone's been doxxed that I changed my number right no way the possible that I would have possibly done that right anyway I'm not even gonna waste time on this anymore because it's so stupid 
Um, 50 Big Boy Cheerio said, show your phone and dunk on the conspiracy theorists. My God, you're an idiot. I mean, I mean it now. You're an idiot. Yes, because showing my phone totally couldn't possibly give away stuff that people would use to hurt me. Boy, you're dumb. All right, thank you, Jackalese, very much. Jackalese tipped me $100. And that's very, very much appreciated tonight. Like I said, after losing so much to chargebacks today, this helps to earn it back, so. And obviously, now we're up to $136. That means vest and everything. I don't like putting my problems on you. But you are the people who crowdfund me. You're my source of income. So I do have to kind of lean on you from time to time when fucked up stuff happens. Dream Game Referee, no, I did not know that the Tractors are apparently planning on live streaming my uh, foreclosure court hearing tomorrow. I don't even, I, I, for, I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know it was tomorrow until they told me. You again. Um, I was not notified, which I believe is incorrect. I think they legally are supposed to and they're not doing it, which means they basically are breaking the law. Um, but I don't have to be there. It has nothing to do with me. They're just going to get the, the, the foreclosure permission or whatever once they foreclose that means it's no longer in my name once i have the legal documentation saying it's no longer in my name i have to, i stop paying the uh the dues and then that's it that's the end of the road for me i have no more further involvement in the process at all after that so all the way they're gonna foreclose great i wanted this to happen since earlier this year when i gave them permission to foreclose during the bankruptcy it's finally gonna happen supposedly tomorrow i guess and uh i guess we're good to go then after that it seems like we would be good to go after that so he did. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Hale also tipped me $100 tonight. So that's a $100 tip from, uh, from Jackalese and a $100 tip from Jay Hale. That is amazing, guys. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Basically, now you negated the chargebacks for me. Thank you, guys. So, Jethro Zman said, I thought the Gunner glasses were 50 bucks. You're not been putting them on. It's because, dude, do you not see I'm in a hurry tonight? Do you not see what's going on? Here, I'll put them on. Do you not see that I, I'm trying to platinum the game in, like, 10 more minutes? <laughs> okay. Golden Nobles and cheers, and don't forget the celebratory dab. The victory dab, very nice. I don't have credit cards, I don't have savings, I have nothing. I have to see a doctor for this. And that's actually why I was a few minutes late for the stream this morning. I was on hold for almost 45 minutes with the oncologist. I think that's what it is, oncology. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it was. Um, basically, the ear, nose, and throat specialist. Okay? I finally got an appointment. The soonest appointment they had. Guess when it is? The last week of January 2020. That I'm not kidding. It wasn't that I was picky with the dates. They said the first appointment they have for me is the last week of January 2020. Excuse me, 2021. My bad, 2021. It's not oncology. That's cancer. All right, it's something else. It's something that starts with an O. But I am not smart. <laughs> I'm not smart. I am pretty stupid, man. I will openly uh, admit this to you every night that I'm here, that I am really dumb. Okay, people are making fun of me because I said oncology. So the last week of January 2021 <clears throat> is my, my, my doctor's appointment. Yeah. I have to wait a month and a half to see the specialist, okay? This is shit, all right? This is absolute shit. So here's the thing. I'm going to keep using my medicine. Hopefully this infection is going to clear up. I'm going to do my best. What can I say to make sure that I don't have uh, another infection, though it doesn't seem like anything I'm doing is very effective, and I'm going to see a doctor at the end of January. I have to wait that long. That is American healthcare. Well, it's hilarious that people want to say that I'm a Karen in the stream chat now, even though no one will actually justify their statement. Christian to the dollar said, what is a Karen? Is this an attractor meme? No, of course not. It's the stupid uh, meme going on right now on social media. That white people are entitled, and they complain about things, and they call them Karens. They only care about themselves and their own personal rights and shit. They don't care about anyone else. By the way... Had to wait 45 minutes on the phone to make that appointment. By the way, had to have a phone-only appointment two months ago to qualify for that appointment. By the way, had to drive an hour to see an urgent care nurse who told me, oh, you have an ear infection, use these eardrops, and here's a referral. That was three months ago. So just think about this. You have a problem in the United States. You're paying tons of money for health care because it's not free here. I'm paying $300 a month for health insurance. In September, I get an ear infection. I have to drive an hour to see a, a nurse who says, you have an ear infection, here's some eardrops, and here's your referral. I had to wait a month to have my phone appointment to be told, sounds like you have a bad ear infection problem. Here's your, your referral to actually get the physical appointment. And now finally, I made my physical appointment and it's a month and a half wait. Bill's had ear infections this year. He must have AIDS. So this, you know, this whole problem started in May. That was the last, the first time I ever had it this year. <clears throat> um, and here we are in December, the problem still lingers and I'm not gonna get help for it till the end of January. Isn't that delightful? CD Project Red is saying, we support if you want a refund. We understand that this game is not as good as it should have been. And if you want a refund, we're going to help you out. So the first thing they said was, if you bought a physical copy, 
and you need help returning it, let us know. They set up an email address by which people can contact them with their personal info, and they're supposedly supposed to be reaching out to help. Will they actually? I don't know. But this is what they're saying. Now, here's the thing. For me, this doesn't affect me. I'm not going to ask for a refund. I'm playing the game. Is it crashing and buggy? Yes. Is there hilarious issues every time I play it? Absolutely. But I'm going to tough through it, and I'm going to keep playing it, and, you know, and beat it. I'm not going to refund the game because I'm not in a position where I'm playing it on base PS4 or Xbox One. It's definitely, it's playable for me. It's annoying, but it's playable for me, okay? It's a sacrifice to do what I do. I worked my ass off. It's <laughs> WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. By eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. Is the guy who just doesn't get reality. 